This will be a historic day. There will finally be a reckoning for Ta'ula and House Mokai. While I'm surprised that the Chancellor has seen fit to allow Ta'ula to speak, I believe it is only a formality. One way or another, she will face justice today. Ha! She is Klingon. She is coming here for a fight. Trust me, surrender is not her goal. Ja'ula was a skilled politician well before she became the matriarch of her house. I think she hopes to sway other great houses to her cause today. Normally, I would consider this a wasted effort, but... Yes, there are many Klingons who hold Ja'ula's brother Takuma in high esteem. They honor his dreams and his vision, especially where the Federation is concerned. Unfortunately, Many Klingon see Ja'ula in the same light, and that concerns me greatly. In addition to the Chancellor himself, I would speak to a few house dignitaries before the event begins. Any insight we can gain on their motivations will be valuable. I would begin with House Martok. They are currently neutral, but that may not last. A word from Martok can change the course for many houses. House Duras is as always aligned with Jimpok. They may speak with you on matters the Chancellor will not, however. House Collect was once a staunch ally of House Mokai, and many believe they have renewed that alliance. I would see where they stand if you can. Finally, I would speak with the representative from House Mokai. Recall the ancient Klingon proverb, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. A car is an arrogant braggart. We might slip up and reveal valuable information to you. Nuk-nech! Speak quickly! or I will acquaint you with the business end of my boot. What of it? Old Jempak will buff up his chest and make a lot of loud, irritating noises before he tries to put Ja'ula to the blade. <laughs> Besides that foolish look on your face? Yes, something amuses me greatly. You will learn what it is soon enough. You, Jempak, and all the other ligament chewers have filled the hall with noise and flatulence. This is tiresome. Go bother someone else, assassin of joy. You there! Not you! You! Yes! Come over here! Waroth, son of Waldon, has a warrior's thirst! Are you here to bring me more blood wine? I'll be the judge of that, Globfly! I could drink Kalos himself under the table if I wanted to. What do you want, then, if not to refill my flagon? My first thought is that it's a fine excuse to drink. My second thought is... But I need more to drink! There they are. All my thoughts on this so-called summit. You picked a fine time to visit Kronos, my friend. Jeula and Chancellor Jempok have everyone on a knife's edge these days, thanks to their clash of wills. As you know, Klingon diplomacy can be quite combative at times. Who knows? Perhaps we will fight at each other's side once again. I would not cling to that hope too tightly. Jimpak is running out of allies, and the Mokai have more friends than he knows about. If it comes to blows, be on your guard. Someone might decide it's time to put their knife in your heart. I will do what is right for my family, for my house, and for the Empire. Always. Never doubt that, my friend. Jampak and I have unfinished business, but that will be resolved in good time. 
I will not see all I have fought for destroyed by this Mokai upstart. For now, for now, Jampak has my support. Kavar, I take it you're here to see where my house stands on the Ja'ula problem. Cha'ula is a product of a dead age, chasing the dreams of her martyred brother, seeking the glory of a war long ended. She is a threat to the prosperity of the Empire, and will be dealt with as such. Yes, while I do not agree with the Chancellor on all things, he has the best solution for this problem, and he will have the support of my house. If there's nothing else, there are other matters that require my attention. And what do you want, creature? Have you come to gloat? Or do you have enough wisdom in that ugly skull of yours to seek the favor of House Mokai? We seek what every true Klingon seeks in life. Glory for the House, and glory for the Empire. Today, we will find them. Soon, Ja'ula will arrive. She knows the truth of things. Soon, she will speak truth to power, to say what must be said, and her voice will be heard throughout the Empire. When she is done, all true Klingon warriors will know the truth and do what must be done. Soon, there will be justice last. <laughs> we shall find out soon enough. Now be gone. I grow weary of the sound of your voice. Come on. Thank you for attending this summit. If we are lucky, it will end quickly and without bloodshed. I will deal with the Mokai traitor and her misbegotten how swiftly and with finality. If there is any part of them that remains Klingon, they will meet their ending with honor as warriors. If not, they will spend the rest of their days in the frozen depths of the penal colony at Rurapente. At least there they will provide some service to the Empire. We'll find out soon enough. The Barbarian is due to arrive shortly. Be wary. The woman is treacherous. She may try any number of things to avoid her unpleasant fate. The time draws near. Return to my position. We will watch the proceedings from here. Council recognizes the leader of House Mokai. Speak! Klingons! Warriors of the Great Houses! In the name of Kalis and of Takuvma! Hear me now! You know my name. You know my house and what it has done for the Empire. And today, I come before you with the truth. The Chancellor of this great empire is a coward and a liar! He stole his title! He claimed it after winning a duel to the death with Marta. And yet Marta, the true Chancellor, still lives. But Jim Park's dishonor doesn't end there. When the Herc returned, he hid from our greatest enemy like a craven fakir. Once Marta led the Empire to glory, we had the Federation on their knees! And now... 
Now that we build ships with them, these stains on our honor must be cleansed! Let us bring an end to Jempok's reign! You dare to speak of honor here? You? A known traitor to the Empire? The only thing ending today is you, woman. I think not. Protect death to Jempa! Things we need to discuss. So much for diplomacy. I had a feeling that Jaula would attack. I admit surprise at the number of allies he had on his side, however. Jim Park will demand swift retribution on Jaula and any house that stood with her today. I suspect my days of neutrality will be coming to an end soon.
is true. Warriors from other great houses have joined forces with the Mokai. They dishonor their ancestors with this treachery! Bah! They are traitors without honor, and will pay for their treachery with their lives! Quickly, there are other disabled ships. We must bring them back into the fight before the rebels return! Starfleet ships won't last much longer against that Mokai force. Let's join the fight before it's too late. Enterprise, this is the day of base. Get here! Let's fire the station. I want to get to the bottom. <laughs>
I've heard from the captains of those Starfleet ships that attacked us. It's not good news. It appears the Mokai infected their computer cores with a virus. To their systems, friends became foes. Let's help them clear the virus from their systems and get them back into the fight. I have a feeling we're going to need all the help we can get here. sensors are picking up numerous signals at high warp, House Mokai, and Starfleet. That's not the half of it. Those ships are all coming in on the same approach vector. I'd say it's a fair bet those Starfleet ships are under Mokai control. Stay sharp out there. This could be another rough fight. Here they come, and they're locked and loaded! A lot of Mokai warp signatures in the mix. I would have guessed. I'd say all of those ships are hostile. Here come the Mokai! 
I think it's time to close that wreck. Our sensors are picking up vessels on the other side. We're launching right now. wrong. The rift isn't closing. Ilachi warships on intercept. They're coming from the rift. Alachi fleet on sensors. Here they come. Shipyard complex. 
it is likely they mean to raid it for anything they can steal. Or blow it to pieces to deny its services to the Empire! <laughs> indeed. Enough of this ligament chewing! We are here, ready to fight! Come, let us show them the price of their dishonor! People of Kufat, hear me now! I come to you now as a liberator, not a conqueror. I wish to free you from the tyranny of the false chancellor, Jempok. Kuvat is the birth world of my mother. Stand with me now, and we will find honor and glory together! Some of you may choose to meet me in battle. So be it. I will grant you an honorable death. A warrior's death. The choice is yours.
cowardly attack. I swear it! But now is not the time for revenge. Now I must help the people of Kuvat. Be ready. When we find her, the Empire will need the best to take Jahula down. Will you answer the call? This is a dark day. The poisonous words of Ja'ula have spread like wildfire throughout the Empire. Many warriors have dishonored their house and sworn allegiance to her. It is the first day of a Klingon civil war. It will not last for long. I will make every Klingon see Ja'ula for what she truly is. They will turn their backs on the so-called Liberator and her treacherous house. Soon I will place her skull in the Great Hall as a reminder to all. Betray the Empire! Betray me! And you will pay the ultimate price! A traitor's death! Eternity in the halls of Grithor! Forever damned! Forever without honor! Serve the Empire well. <laughs> 